Christian Barmore, in my opinion, is one of the best interior defensive linemen in the NFL. And I know the stats may not back that up, but the tape does not lie. Barmore is very, very disruptive. And this past week against the Dolphins, he had multiple pressures, multiple quarterback hits. He even got himself a sack. And today, I want to break down the tape. Let's jump right into it. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I want you guys to watch Christian Barmore here absolutely dominate the right guard here. The explosiveness, the power, the leverage. And technically, this is a 19-yard completion. And no one's ever going to think about this because from the defensive perspective, this is technically a bad play. But damn, look at Barmore. The second he realizes that this is not a run, look at him run right through that guy. Let's break this play down a little bit slower and a little bit more detailed. First and foremost, the offensive linemen are all going to jump set, which means they are going to make this look like this is some sort of run. The quarterback is also going to play action. The running back is going to stretch to the left of your screen. So for Barmore, he's going to play the run first. So as soon as these guys jump out towards Barmore, as soon as these guys jump out, Barmore's going to lock out because Barmore understands that this may be a run. Again, the linemen are jump setting. They are showing that this is a run. So Barmore initially does a great job gaining great leverage. I mean, look at that. He locks his arm out, has control of the chest of this offensive lineman. The left shoulder's free in case he needs to blow a play up. He's in a really, really good spot. And you're going to see that he's going to recognize this is not a run. And then he's going to just get physical and give this guard a power move. He runs right over him. And he's going to get to the quarterback. Now, technically, this is not a hit. Technically, he doesn't get a sack. But... When this quarterback goes to the sideline and he grabs onto that tablet and he looks at his offensive line, he's going to think that, hey, number 90 got pretty damn close on that last play. And he's going to start thinking just a little bit more. And over the course of this game, there are a lot of rush throws and check downs and stuff like that, at least in my opinion. And a lot of that was because of the fact that the O-line was getting beat up, right? The D-line did a really, really good job. That being said, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. All right, you guys, check this next play out. I do know if this is the first time you're on this channel, one of the things we do is we look at individual reps between players. We don't care about the result of plays, right? As you guys know, that last play, we pointed it out. It was still a gain of a lot of yards. But again, this is what we want to look at, right? You got some sort of concept with the tight end coming on a wham block. It looks like a split zone. But when you look at the block here by the right guard, he has an out block on Christian Barmore. So he needs to seal him off. And he needs to make sure Barmore is not able to jump into the inside gap. Because as the running back gets the ball, he should theoretically have the ability to cut it into whatever lane is going to open up. So Barmore is going to do a great job recognizing this is a run. He's going to lock out once again. He's going to get physical. He's going to control. And then he's going to shed to the inside. And to me, this is a winning rep. Again, it's not all about making plays because a lot of the time it's quick throws, runs to the opposite side of you. And they're plays that you may not be able to make. But when I watch Christian Barmore... At the point of attack, he wins way too easily at times. And to me, it just shows that as he develops over the course of his career, these type of winning reps, these winning one-on-one -on -one battles are going to start to translate into actual sacks, and quarterback hits, and tackles for losses, and all that good stuff. You know, one of the interesting things with Barmore is he doesn't play all three downs. He plays a lot of passing situations. Here's a third and three. He's going to absolutely crush the left guard. He's going to drive him right back into the quarterback, and he almost gets there. Obviously, you guys see Raheem Mazur is able to catch the ball, and he picks up 25 yards on this play. But regardless of the actual outcome of the play, when you watch a, a guy like Barmore, and you watch the explosiveness and the ability that this guy shows, it leaves you impressed. The guy absolutely crushes the left guard. He goes right through him. And truth be told, man, this right here, he beats the left guard and then the center kind of comes over to help. Even then, he still pushes through and he gets a very, very, very close in there. You know, O-lines are seeing that. O-lines are going to see that and they're going to start double teaming Barmore. They're going to start accounting for wherever Christian Barmore may be lined up. This is a really, really nice shot. Let's break this down in a little bit more detail. As the play begins, Barmore's going to do a fantastic job getting out of his stance. He gets low. Great hand-to-hand -hand combat. If you guys watch this play closely and you look at Barmore's left hand on the guard's right hand, you're going to see Barmore do what is referred to as a fork technique. He's basically going to take that arm. He's going to push it upwards. You guys see that left guard's hand go up right there? That is called the fork technique, and it's a move that's used by advanced pass rushers. It gets people off balance because you're really pushing them up. It's removing that leverage. And it allows you to win, and in this instance, he wins. And the center here has to come and double team. 
and he's still able to push through and get close enough to the quarterback. And of course, the quarterback checks it down on third and three. Checks it down. This play right here should have been stopped, and this should have been a punt. Obviously, a missed tackle, a couple of missed tackles, and Mozart's able to pick up 25 yards. That's a nice job by the running back, but again, Christian Barmore showing us that disruptiveness, that explosiveness, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? The pass rush technique. It's there, man. This guy's going to be very, very special over the course of his career. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the next rep. All right, you guys, check this play out right here. Technically, Christian Barmore and Carl Davis are going to get there for the sack at the same time. I think officially this was credited to Carl Davis. Um, but regardless, Christian Barmore did a great job on this play. Once again, he's showing off that pass rush technique. First and foremost, let's just look at Carl Davis. This is a really, really nice move right at the point of attack massive massive football player and the center knows it and the center is going to just get swam right over right at the point of attack uh, davis is a nice job with the hezzy right punch left arm over gets right over the top instantly wins and bridgewater has to get out of the pocket now at the same time if you guys back this up and watch barmore barmore is going to do a great job with his right hand that right hand is going to land to the left shoulder it's right behind the goal post you guys might not be able to see it right now as we forward it, you can see the right hand locked into the left shoulder pad of that right tackle. If you guys watch his left hand, he's going to once again fork up the arm of this offensive lineman. There it is right there. He's going to use the left hand and bam, he's going to fork it up. He's going to remove that leverage. And this is a great job pushing back 71. You know, 71 could anchor down right now. Bridgewater would have enough of a lane where he's able to step through the pocket. But because Barmer is able to collapse the pocket from his side, the quarterback has nowhere to go. You can see they both get there and basically both get the sack together. So really, really nice rep by both Davis and Christian Barmore. This right here is what makes the Patriots defensive line so damn great. You can bring three guys and get a sack. That's crazy to think. Um, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. Check this play out. Barmore is lined up in the long three technique, or you can say he's in the four eye. I would say he's in a long three technique because he's aligned towards the right guard. He's going to absolutely crush it. An instant win, like right at the point of attack, he's able to beat the offensive lineman and get to Bridgewater. Now, obviously, Bridgewater gets the ball out super quickly on this throw, but look at how fast and explosive Barmore is. He's able to win with his very first punch. Like right away, get the right punch, swipe those hands, get past him, and has instant pressure. That right there is very impressive. Again, I know this doesn't lead to an actual sack. Keep in mind, this was third and 22, so it wasn't like... The Dolphins were going to drop a play to, to really take a deep shot. But the fact that Barmer is able to win so quickly, in my opinion, is very impressive. Because he's done this, right? Pretty much over the course of his career, went healthy. And it's flashing just over and over and over again. And I think the last time we checked in on Barmore was back in preseason. And I believe I was saying that I think this guy's going to have a great year. A lot of sacks, a lot of hits. And he hasn't been healthy, but technically he does have three sacks on the season already. And in the final game, he can get another one or two, which will put him about four to five sacks, which is still pretty good considering the amount of snaps that he's played. That being said, let's go ahead and get to the next rep. All right, you guys, jumping into this play, check this play out. The right guard here is going to pull to the left, and the left tackle here is going to try to get to the inside of Barmore. At least that's what they're showing, which would indicate a run to the left of the formation. Now, this is a trick play. It's not going to the left. That's just designed that way. In reality, this is actually a run to the right. And look at Barmore recognize this play. He recognizes this and he wasn't quick enough to, to shut it down. That's okay. He's a defensive tackle. He's not going to make these plays often. But the recognition is what I'm talking about, right? Uh, sometimes it's all about being able to read and process and understand what's happening. And again, that oftentimes leads to success, right? You mix that in with this pass rush technique, with the fact that he's still going to get bigger. He's still going to get stronger. He's still going to get smarter. He's going to get so much better with time and i do want to also make one other statement you look at some of the guys around the league like deron Payne, jeffrey simmons quinn and williams these guys took time but they are now some of the best interior defensive linemen around the league and barmer is only in year two he's only going to get better he's only going to get healthier let's go ahead and jump into the next rep literally the very next play barmer is going to do a fantastic job once again he's going to win super quickly almost gets the sack of course you guys know this is the touchdown pass to the running back but this is how quickly he wins right really really nice job swiping away the the right guard there swiping away his leverage just a really nice job at the point of attack the right guard does a good job punching with both hands 
Barmer's going to just swipe that right away. Bam, get off me, right? Breaks that contact, is able to toss this guy forward. If you guys look at the left hand, the left hand actually lands on the back elbow of that guard, right? That left hand punching it on the back elbow forces the guy to lean forward. So really, really, really nice shot by Barmore. Again, I oftentimes talk about this and I know I've said it multiple times already, hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? The pass rush technique is very important as a defensive lineman. And even as an offensive lineman, it's very important. And Barmore is great at it. These are the type of reps that are going to translate over the course of his career. Let's go ahead and get into the next play. Second and 10, once again, Barmore is going to blow this play up. Now, this is a run play. He does a great job being able to actually make the play, actually make the tackle. Uh, we've seen a couple of plays in which he wasn't able to actually make the play right, like that last pass rush snap. But this play is different. He's going to do a great job getting off the block. Beating the tight end who has a reach block to the inside this is a very difficult block by these two guys. Basically, the tackle is going to double team. And he's going to get up to the next level. And the tight end has to be able to get to the inside to seal off Barmore. Now, these plays aren't generally going to work because Barmore is very fast. He's very explosive. And he's, he's smart, super smart. Barmore plays this perfectly. gets both hands on the tackle. As the tackle releases, he's going to take the inside and make sure the tight end can't get to the inside. This is a great job playing that reach block and he just gets in there and blows the play up impactful players make impactful plays and barmer has been doing that this entire game check this next play out once again Barmer's gonna beat that guard to the inside great job breaking contact and getting a massive hit on the quarterback uh, these are the type of hits that in my opinion have a lasting impact these type of plays right there great job let's get into the next rep watch the bull rush move that's gonna lead into him getting right back into the quarterback once again this move right here is a really, really nice job. Really nice job controlling specifically. Uh, that center has no shot of blocking Barmore. Great job making contact. He's going to get the right hand specifically on the left shoulder pad of 58. He's going to use that to bull rush him back. I mean, look at that right there. Look at that move by Barmore to absolutely destroy the center right there. Really, really nice job. Power, leverage, all of that combined into one play. This is the play you want to look at, man. That's a great job by Barmore. That being said, let's get to the next rep. All right, guys, so here's the official sack that Barmer got credit for. Keep in mind, the other sack technically went to Davis. But this sack right here is going to go to Barmore. Great job just working his pass rush one-on-one -on -one situation with number 68. Uh, I believe that's Solomon Kinley. Don't quote me on that, but really, really nice job by Barmore. Absolutely does a great job once again. You know, as a guard, you have to anchor down. You have to be able to make contact. You have to stop a guy in his tracks. Barmer's not going to allow 68 to anchor. He's going to just push through it, fight through it. I mean, that's a really nice job. I mean, look at 68 struggling. His feet are going to cross right there because he doesn't have the power to stop Barmore, who was using a power move. Great job fighting through it, breaking contact, and making the play right here for the sack. Now, technically, you guys see that it's the outside linebacker here who's really going to get that pressure, right? Great football player. We all know all the impacts that uh, Josh has had on the outside there, but um, that's a great, pa great pass rush move right there by, by him as well. But uh, Barmore gets the credit for the sack. Let's go ahead and jump into the next rep. Alrighty, guys. Final play that I want to break down. Barmore's going to do a great job in his pass rush once again. Really just fighting through it. Fighting through the contact. Giving the guy a rip move towards the end of it. And getting to the quarterback. Now, technically, he doesn't sack him. He doesn't hit him hard. But he does get there. He does touch him at the end of this. Gonna do a good job making contact with 71, fighting through it. 71 does have a really good grip, right? You can almost call the hold there based off the way he has Barmore, but generally speaking, unless the defensive lineman pulls away, the, the hold will never be called on these type of plays. It's a good grip by the tackle, and Barmore's gonna fight through it. And watch his right hand. Watch Barmore's right hand right at the end of this right there. Come and rip. That rip right there forces the tackle to have to let go. Because if you don't let go after a rip move, you're going to get called for the hold. And at the end of this, look how close he gets. All right? And at the end of this, he gets his hand on the quarterback. Again, it's not a whole lot, but the quarterback's going to remember these things. Right? These are the type of impactful plays that Barmer had over the course of this game. The guy is going to be very, very good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.